Okay, so here we are in our new hide and seek world. This one's available on our Facebook page. Should work on Minecraft education and bedrock perfectly fine. We're just waiting for some of the students to come in now and we'll start this game. Now, um, this game works very simply. The students are gonna head through that door very shortly and they're gonna find the big open area. They've got 30 seconds to hide. Now you'll notice when you look at this area that there isn't much of an opportunity to hide at the moment simply because we are going to fill this area later on with different buildings and stuff like that. Um, now at the moment, we are just waiting for the clock uh, to count down uh, to zero. And then what will happen is uh, two random players will be given a diamond sword. All right, so um, player versus player has been updated to true. And it says last one standing, very scary. And we've got now got one minute left on the timer. Now the two uh, people with the diamond swords are just going to run around and attack everybody else and see how many people they can get. Uh, now, when a player dies, they are respawned back at the uh, lobby area. And we're going to go uh, kind of behind that and look at all the command blocks uh, very shortly. Uh, but uh, let's just uh, watch the chaos unfold here as the students make their way around and try and get as many of the players as possible. I think I've got about, I don't know, 12 or 13 students in here and it seems to be uh, kind of running okay, which is good. Now, of course, there's lots of ways you could improve this area. At the moment, it's kind of a battle arena or something like that. And of course, we want to um, look at some game design elements, so things that we could put into this world to make it more interesting. Um, but at the minute, we're coming up to our, the end of our minute of uh, carnage, and we will all be teleported, there we go, back to uh, the lobby there. So let's go ahead and um, look at an example of what we can do. So here's one of my students here. And they're just building away some uh, little obstacles that people can hide behind. They're probably a bit close together. We'd want to spread these out a bit more. We don't want to make life too hard for the uh, people with the diamond swords. We've got a chest with a potion of invisibility in there. That's quite a nice idea. I'm just going around building a little tunnel underground, coming up out of the other side, just to add some more places to hide. Now let's, let's do a little tour of the coding behind this one. We've got a button here that says begin. Um, and a door over here to go out and go through. Now we need to activate world builder mode. So we're gonna go through there. And then uh, behind we've got command block output false. So we don't see all the command block outputs. World spawn, um, setting that back to the lobby just in case that changes somehow. And over here we've got our timer. So 30 seconds to hide is the title. And each one of these uh, is a repeating, not repeating, a chain command block um, with a delay in of 20 ticks between each one, which is a second. And when that goes to zero, we give give at R a diamond sword, and then it starts counting back down. Now, what I like to do with this is um, show my students this on the board and see if they can work out what kind of game this is going to be, what the coding is. So as you can see, we're clearing the inventory there, putting the gold blocks over the doorway and stuff like that. And uh, it's interesting to see if the students can figure out uh, what all of this does, what it means for the game. And at the end, we're gonna play, uh, play a sound for everybody to hear. We've got another section here where we clear the inventory, set everyone to adventure mode. And there's a reset button over here, uh, again, blocked off, but that teleports everyone back to the start. And it uh, changes the player versus player to false, so people can't attack each other when they're in the lobby. So that's it for this hide and seek game. Please head over here to our Facebook page. Uh, where we, uh, you can download this file if you sign up to the group. Uh, you can download that for free to use with your students. Uh, but that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this hide and seek map that uh, we've made for our students. Okay, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all later in the week.